Thank you so much, Ariel, for uh, meeting with me today. Uh, my name is Gifty, and I am here with Ariel Garten. So I'd like you to introduce yourself to everybody that's going to be watching. Who is Ariel Garten? Hello, everyone. My name is Ariel Garten. I'm one of the founders of Muse. I was trained as a neuroscientist and a psychotherapist, and we make an awesome device that helps you meditate. Yes, speaking of meditation, you are a CEO, you're a mother, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business person, you have a lot of tabs <laughs> <laughs> under your name. So how did this come out um, for you to be able to say that I, there's something that I need to be able to get that meditation on, find that calmness in it? Talk to us a little bit about the, 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 the process that news came out to Sure. So I was somebody who always wanted to do everything in life, because you can tell by all of the things under my name. And it turns out that trying to do everything in life can be very stressful. Yes. At the time you're like, I'm good, it's fine, I can handle all this, and yeah. then it mounts and mounts and mounts. Yeah. So I was actually working as a psychotherapist, okay. and I, as a psychotherapist, was teaching people to meditate, mm -hmm. but I was somebody who was doing so many things that I sucked at meditation. <laughs> I could not do it. My mind would wander all over the place and yeah. when I sat down to do my meditation practice, I'd get frustrated because it was just bouncing all over. Yeah. I almost didn't want my mind to be quiet mm. because I felt like I need to be on top of it. I need to do all these things. I yeah. can't stop thinking about it. And so as a therapist though, I was training my patients to meditate. I was teaching them what to do because yeah. I knew how to do it. I just yeah. couldn't do it couldn't myself. Do yeah. And in the process of doing that, I was at the same time working with a research lab that had an early, it's called the Brain Computer Interface. Okay. So we had a little device that could track your brain waves. Yeah. And we began to experiment with what we could do with this. And we were creating experiences where you could like focus and the music would change or you would relax and the music would change. And so I started, as I was working with this technology, I started working with Chris, who was my co-founder, and we said, like, wow, this is wild. We're actually nice. able to do something with our minds and then see what's happening. Yeah. And we realized that really this was kind of like meditating. You know, as we were telling people to relax and calm down um, and the sound would get quieter, yeah. what we were really teaching them is how to relax and calm down and yeah. giving them feedback on their brain state. And when we were telling them to focus and the light would get brighter, what we were teaching them was how to focus. And so we realized we could take this technology and apply it to probably the most important thing we could think to get people to do, which was to meditate. And calm down. And yeah. calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, well, you know, I knew all the research behind meditation and how yeah. phenomenal it was for you, mm -hmm. but it was so hard to do. to do. So we started about 10 years ago the process of creating the device that's now used. And it was, you know, a long process of sitting with meditators, literally sitting with monks on mountaintops, tracking their brain activity wow. while they were meditating to create this tool That's that amazing. could actually help you know what was going on in your mind during meditation. Okay, so how did you then decide, because there's other wearable um, things out there that are yes. meant to help. There's apps, there's music, there's YouTube, there's different things that are all you know, geared towards us being at that mental calmness state of it. So for the idea of putting on, say I'm going to be different and put on the head, how did that come about? Because I really, I like that idea that it's different and if you can show it, yeah, sure. it's very simple, it's not intrusive, it's stylish for so long, which is good. It's not bulky, you know what? It's not like uh, you're riding a bicycle and you have a big light on top of your helmet. One it's of my simple. aunts was working as a fashion designer. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it had to look good. So, yes, oh yes, you do have that background in there too. So, and I love that you incorporate in there. So was that one of the reasons why you decided to do more as part of the body because of the brain and on the head, as opposed to putting like, say, where the palm is or the chest? So in the lab that I was working with, we had what was this very early technology, the like precursor to this. And so we were using EEG technology, which okay. tracks your brain activity, yeah. to track your brain activity while you were focusing and relaxing. So we took that early technology, we developed it into this slim little form factor that was easy to wear, yeah. um, and then applied it to meditation. And yes, at the time there were, this was like, we started in like 2010, so quite a long time ago, and at the time you saw the first 
like it was called the Nike Fuel Band. Yeah, the job the up and the very ones. first Fitbits, yeah. like the very, very first wearable devices. But yeah. there was nothing for the brain. Yeah. And you started to see the rise of like Headspace and Calm yeah. apps that would help you meditate. But yeah. it's just like a recording on your phone talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> it's not actually. Once you reach one yeah. get out the thousand steps, there's nothing else left. Yeah. 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 So, so I like that. This really gives you interactive feedback and lets you know when you're meditating if you're doing it right. Yes. It lets you know when you're focused and when your mind is wandering. And it gives you encouragement and reinforcement. So you're not just like listening to an app on your phone, or you're not just being told like, yep, you're walking. Like it's actually giving you feedback on your brain to help you meditate correctly, which then like takes your meditation practice and lets you do this. I love it. And the reason why I was saying that I brought in and like I reached out to you is because in the sports world, um, all the kids, and whether they're in high school, elementary school, college, university, it's a fast-paced world. Yes. We have multiple, you know, you're, either you're practicing, or you're training, or you're playing, or something. There's always something. You're watching videos, and on top of it, most of them are students, so you're also doing schoolwork. <laughs> so it's, it's consistent. It's almost like, what's next, what's next, what's next? So the idea of incorporating that there's a way to calm down and relax and get that feedback makes it more, to me, tangible in a sense. So for any parent, you know, who have that global global schedule, like tell us what are some of the benefits that this definitely can help them analyze it. That doesn't stop your regular, you know, schedule and not every day, but there's that feedback that you can use and help you enhance your lifestyle. Exactly. So there are lots of different forms of meditation that you practice with this. The most, the most common one we have is our mind meditation, which okay. is a focused attention practice. That's like your core meditation practice. Yeah. And what it teaches you is to focus your attention on one thing, wow. your breath, and then it lets you know when your mind has wandered away from that thing. So, if, yeah. So if you're like, imagine a kid, yeah. you know, in the middle of your basketball game, yeah. and you're distracted because the audience is going, and you just screwed up. Yeah. Um, so music is something that actually trains you, not while you're on the court, but yeah. while you're on the bench, yeah. trains you to be able to stay focused on the task in front of you, calm your mind, yeah. let go of the distractions, and perform your best. Wow. So obviously super amazing on the court. Yeah. Also super amazing for schoolwork. Yes. Yeah. So there is a study um, from a from a group called Mind Up. It's a charitable organization that brings meditation to schools, and it showed that kids who meditate have a 25% decrease in their antisocial behavior wow, and aggression and a 15% increase in their math scores. So we, uh, Kansas State University did a study using Muse to meditate with for kids in grades 7 and 8 and what they saw was a 72 or 72, 74% decrease in kids being sent to the detention. Yeah. That's a... Uh... Yes. And then we have tons of professional athletes that use Muse. Yeah. So like some really super famous football teams that like won the won the big super championships. Okay, yeah, for okay. example. Yeah. I'm not allowed to say it on their name, but That's yes, okay. they use That's Muse. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have lots of Olympic athletes that use Muse. Yeah. Um, lots of basketball players. Yeah. So, and I can, that's why I can see the benefit yeah. on them because when they're in that realm of competing, I'm one of the parents that yell. That's why my voice is on right now. <laughs> I am awesome. screaming, ah, 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 and it's hard to concentrate. Yeah, yeah. So now I realize, wait, my yelling could be distracted to them, but if you have something that can guide you and say, regardless of the external noises, you, your brain, this is what happens when you're in this type of environment, you just have to focus, and the feedback is there. And when we see it, and they can see it and help them, that is amazing. Now, just tell, with, within the, the yeah. actual product itself, do we need to download an app on it to be yep. able to use it? And within your app, what are some of the additional data that could be used to also be able to make sure that you know, using this is helping us grow? Sure. So the headband connects to the Muse app that's on your phone. Yeah. Um, and then on it's your phone. It's available on Android and Apple. iOS and iOS. Okay. Yep. And Android. Yeah. In the Muse app, you have different forms of meditation. You have mind meditation. You have heart meditation, where you're actually listening to the beating of your heart and learning to understand your heart rate and what's going on inside. You have breath meditation, where you're learning different breathing patterns that can calm you down. Okay. And then there's body meditation. 
the only super fidgety today. It's mm -hmm. actually a great exercise to like do a body meditation and just yeah. not let your body fit. Yeah, so after each meditation, so you're getting real time feedback during it, you're actually hearing what's going on in your mind. Okay, you're so it's not like it happens and then it downloads and shows you like you can see Both. it. So you can okay. hear it in real time, it's audio. Okay. And then afterwards you get graphs that actually show you in your brain meditation when you were focused and when your mind was wandering. Wow. In the heart meditation you actually see what your heart rate is doing, going up and down, your heart rate variability. Yeah. In the body meditation you can see your stillness when you're moving and then when you're still. Wow. Yeah, so it's got lots of data. And everybody in the family can use it so yeah. by one device. Yeah. You know, typically what happens is mom breaks it home. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. It's mom that brings it home. Uh, yeah, it is. Home. It is. Yeah. 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 And then you like pray that your kids will use it because you're like, it's a meditation device. I yes. hope they use it. But the good news is they usually do because okay. it's like cool and gamified. And you get yeah. like badges when you've oh, done good. it enough. You look for it and tweet. And you can like compete in your family. Like, you've yes. got two kids. Awesome. They're they're like, tasks, they have less tasks to deal with yeah. than I do. Yeah, yeah for like, sure. They're like, Mom, I got 15 birds. You only got two. Ha ha. And you'll yeah. be like, thank God. I know it's working. Yeah. yeah. You'll be like, no problem. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm terrible. You're awesome. You keep doing that. You're awesome. Keep getting those birds. Yeah. <laughs> birds are oh, good. good. I like yeah. that. So it's a good um, feedback and a good, you know, uh, response and telling you that, you know, they're doing good. Like, yes. to keep it going and then where improvements can be based on what the information is given. Exactly. Now, is this only to be used when you're sleeping or can it be done anytime? Anytime of day. So it's an activity. Okay. You have to sit with your eyes closed. So you're, you know, sitting in a traditional meditation practice, practice when you're doing it. Yeah. And then you flip on the headband to your meditation. Yeah. And we have two devices. One is the Muse 2. Okay. Um, and that one is meditation only. This one here is the Muse S. And this is meditation and sleep. Okay. So it's able to track your sleep. I need it for the sleep. Yeah, and then it also gives you these beautiful experiences that help guide you into sleep and actually respond to your body and yeah. help your brain fall asleep faster. Beautiful. Like, Thank you. And I don't know where have you been, but I'm <laughs> like, what? What is that? This is good. So, from parents though, because once we put that information in and the data, is it how long does it stay in the system? Or can we like just email it to ourselves or? put it that way so let's say there's some kids like you know you're working with your doctor or something and you want to be able to go back and give some feedback yeah. it's, it's an art it's a group session working to make sure the child is good uh, where is the data information being stored is it accessible easily yeah so each person has their own account um and so your data is stored in your account yeah. and then you always own your own data okay so at any time you want to you want to do your account you can do it your data too yeah but so long as it's in there you always have access your data. That's good. And it's, it's I love yeah, it. and it's separate for each person. So your data is separate than your son's data than your other son's data. And charging, uh, connection, plugging, yes. how, what, the, the, the technicality of Standard it. Standard micro USB. Okay. Um, charges quickly, holds charge for four hours for the S, uh, eight hours for this. Wow. So you can get lots of meditations. Once actually. a day, that, yeah. that's it. All you need. Okay, and to sum it up, where can we find it? I know you mentioned it, news, you know, using um, headbands and everything, but where can people find it and find it? So if you want to find out more about it, you can go to choosemuse.com. Choosemuse.com. I'm going to put the link and everything in it so everybody can still see it. And is it worldwide? It's available to Ships people? everywhere. everywhere. At choosemuse.com, we also have, like, fun information about meditation and sports and athletics in our blog. Yeah. There's tons of resources there. Good, good, um, good. And then if you want to find us on the socials, it's at Choose News. C-H-O-O-S-E-M-U-S. Good. And do you and your team also do um, like info sessions with clubs or teams or anything like that? Let's say coach wanted to come in and do a lot of demonstrations or anything like that with your club. Would you use that one or on one of the options that you offer as well? Sure. You can yeah. just email us at partners at choosemuse.com. I'll actually get that email myself. Okay. And so we have lots of coaches that use it, like LA Galaxy. Yeah, the coach there loves okay. news and has a program yeah. that we built for them that he uses with all of his team members. Yeah. Um, Kansas City Royals, yeah. news meditations, and a wow. bunch of others. Okay. So okay. if you have a you know small local sports team, um, and even ha I'm totally happy to yeah. come and talk to and you guys and out. share how it can help you. Because we, we need team. that. We need that. And it's not, I think the coaches might need it too, right, to help them. 
entertain themselves, whether they're winning or losing. <laughs> so they can understand what's going on yeah, within themselves. Uh, yes, we do, for sure. Wow, well, I'm so happy I'm really to come across oh, you. Thank, so you. Thank, awesome. you. Thank, thank you, thank you. Okay, one final, final question for you in a fun way. I also do this pop up last minute thing. Um, if a movie was to be made about you, with all your past experiences that you've had, who would play you and why? Oh, that's an amazing question. I don't have a good answer for that, but the first thing that popped into my mind was Madonna. <laughs> She can do it. Every album, she's a different character. I can see her. She has a nice personality too, so definitely. And she loves to meditate. Yes, so even better. She's got multiple. Yeah, but you definitely understand. Thank you so much, Ariel. So nice meeting you. Thank you, thank you. So I will definitely be sharing this on all of my social. Be sure to follow Muse Choose Music. Uh, the Choose Muse. The wearable. Calm and meditation app that is so well needed within our sports world and within the camp world. Parents, athletes, grandparents, anybody can use this and it's highly recommended. I'm so glad to come across it. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, so thank, you thank you, thank you.